Happy Sunday morning, my friends. Happy Sunday morning. Welcome to our morning mana short devotional. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe and click the join button if you want to become a member. And there are certain perks you can enjoy once you're a member. Well, today's devotional is entitled, See with the Eyes of Compassion. See with the Eyes of Compassion. Jesus touched many people with his compassion, care, healing, comfort, and teaching. How did he reach so many people? Some came to him by healing because they had heard of his power over demons and disease. Others, however, were simply present. And Jesus saw them with his compassionate eyes. He looked into their eyes their lives, and their hearts. And then he acted to make a difference in their lives. Compassion alludes to kindness in sympathy. But there is something deeper, something even more profoundly powerful, and its meaning. The origin of the word helps us grasp the true significance of compassion. In Latin, compati means suffer with. Compassion means someone else's Heartbreak becomes your heartbreak. Another's suffering becomes your suffering. Through compassion changes the way we live. The Bible is filled with the stories of compassion. Many compassionate Bible characters inhabit the pages of the Old Testament. And examples of the compassion of Jesus Christ are plain, plentiful in the Gospels. These examples of compassion are a call and challenge to the followers of Jesus. They speak of a God who has compassion of, for Israel. They tell of a Savior who suffers for the world and they ask us to live and act compassionately. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 tells us, and I quote, And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, Forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Whenever Jesus saw a person, he saw him through the eyes of compassion. The Gospel of Mark tells us that, and I quote, When he came out so much people and was moved with compassion toward them, because they were a sheep not having a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. In the story of adulterous woman, we learn that Christ does not allow us to continue wandering aimlessly in our sin, but gives us a new directive. And Jesus said, and I quote, go and sin no more. The eyes of compassion which God sees us and through which we are called to see others are not blind. Compassion does not mean that we can do whatever we want, even if it is terminate. Uh, detrimental to ourselves, others, or our relationship with God. W what God is asking of us is a contrite heart that continually returns to His infinite love. When we sin, we separate ourselves from our neighbors, from God, and from debts of His infinite love. When Christ says to sin no more, as He did to the woman caught in adultery, he is also telling us to love more fully. Today, let's choose to look with the eyes of compassion and mercy as we live and follow Christ's call to go and sin no more. When we read accounts of the Lord's miraculous work, we often read the compassion leading him. Since Jesus is our example, we too should be moved by those things that move the heart of God. In John chapter 11, the account of Lazarus' death, we read that the Lord was deeply moved by Mary's grief. Such compassion was present before he performed the miracle that raised Lazarus from the dead. The Bible records in verse 33 that Jesus, and I quote, groaned in the spirit and was troubled, which the word in the Greek, embrimai, embrimaumai, literally means to be moved with indignation. Jesus battles death itself. He does so on behalf of his friend, Lazarus. 
In witnessing and ministering to others, our Savior teaches us to see a man, a woman, a child through the eyes of compassion. Jesus sees the needs of others and responds on a much deeper level than just the physical. He attends to the most significant spiritual needs. If we do the same, asking God to show us what is on his heart, we too will experience the Spirit's power and anointing in our Christian walk. We will see people profoundly changed, perhaps even transformed and impacted for eternity. Well, thank you so much for watching or even listening to this short devotional. I hope this message bless your heart as you proceed to your work today. See you again tomorrow. Shall we pray, Father? Thank you so much for this morning. I pray for the blessing. Uh, bless everyone that will gonna watch this video. And I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, Today is Sunday. I hope that you would go to church and worship the Lord. Our church will be open at 9.30. Come over and worship with us. Thank you again. And God bless you. Bye-bye.